All right, guys. So, ooh, so just gonna give a little. I'm a little. I don't know if I'm blurry or not. There we go. Because the microphone was in the way. I'm gonna try and talk a little bit louder. Yeah, let's do that. So, dude, great week. Um, last week was a. Poof. So I'm explaining why I didn't post a video last week. I know you guys are gonna be like, I oh, just said you're posting videos every week. So, I missed last week because my week one accidentally supposed to be my week two but it moved like a week one so we just repeated last week so i wasn't going to show you guys the same workout plus sbd was here doing a little shoots for some stuff so i didn't i didn't want to record while they were shooting because there's going to be too much work i wanted uh to make sure justin uh, had free range to be able to do it so he won't have to worry about my camera or anything so there's that um but this week was what i needed um wasn't feeling as confident after last week because last week didn't feel like the week one. But usually whenever I repeat a week, it doesn't feel as good. So that's probably why. So, eh, I mean, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But we made it up this week. This week felt really good. Uh, 270 for four moved great. That's a PR on RPE-wise. I want to give it like a, a seven. I give it a solid six and a half, seven. I think it was um, – the biggest thing was probably – um, the confidence. That's what I needed to build this week was the confidence. And I ended up, like, I took all the pre-workout, made sure I warmed up good, did all my warm-ups like I was supposed to. And um, I came back over to put my headphones in, and I was like, I left my headphones. So that sucked. But So I hit this whole session without headphones. I also forgot to record one of my warm-ups, which also sucked. But, hey, man, like, my, my head was just over everywhere because I was kind of nervous about the session. But we got it done. I felt confident. I felt good. And that's all that matters. Um, I will say that today was like I have moments in time where um, I fall in love with Sid again or like I realize again like oh this is why I love this woman this woman's so amazing so didn't have my headphones and usually she says things to me and my, while I have my headphones on I hear some of it but I don't hear all of it because you know I have music and her voice going at the same time but today I didn't have any headphones in and I could just hear her. she was like all right let's go babe you got this loud in my ear I'm like all right I got this I got this I got this and like She's just such a, she's so amazing, man. I guess. <laughs> so I'm still getting, you know, like butterflies in my stomach. So basically, I just want to talk about how I hope that everyone one day finds love, like the love me and Sid have. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, she's my biggest supporter and I appreciate that. And I need that like more than she knows. I need that. And she doesn't hear me. She's over there talking to someone right now. So I'm so she probably won't even watch this either. So you guys are going to like, y'all should definitely like, I don't know, tag her in it. I don't know. Go to my Instagram, tag her. And misses the 74 kg and just be like he talked about you in his youtube video yeah um but it was great though man like a hey, we have two more weeks to this block too that's not even like last week so next week i feel like since i have the confidence back next week should move the exact same as this week since i have that confidence and then the last week should be like a freaking ultra instinct type week like we're just locked in i have the headphones i have everything everything is good dialed in the last week is always my best week because i feel the most confident going into it after weeks three and four so this is going to be great man i'm excited bench is on another wave we're about to get the bench in right now i'm super excited this is about to be the most craziest block ever guys like, i can't wait for you guys to see the final product of it because we're about to hit something crazy so let's get the work gonna wipe the shoes off because they're dusty at the bottom and that's why my feet slip on bench because i know a lot of people are like oh look at this feet are still slipping still slipping i have crazy leg drive man so i have to wipe these shoes every time i bench just to make sure i'm getting that grip so about to wipe the shoes and about to get bench done let's get it All right, guys, so hope this is, hope it has me focused in. I pray to God it does. But end of day one, wait. So done with, you know, half of the primary days, squat done, had a little, you know, our primer for tomorrow's bench. Hey, that 177 and a half moved good, dude. Like, I've gotten confident on bench now, especially since I know I just need to wipe off my shoes before I bench. That's where they all messed up at. Y'all let me figure that out. So, boom. Uh, got, you know, a little heavy bench tomorrow, a little pause deadlift. Super excited that that's going to move easy as well. Then we're on to week four, and then we got week five after that. Bro, we're on one right now. Like, you thought I was joking when I released the first video and I said this is going to be a PR block. This is about to be the craziest PR block ever. And we still, like, freaking, I don't know, 15 weeks 
20 weeks between that time before Sheffield, we're, we're on a wave right now and there's nothing that can stop us because I, I get better as the blocks go on. This is the first time I've actually had like multiple blocks going into a meet for a while now since before. I don't know, like, this is, like, a prep, same prep as I had going to my 851 meet, so I'm excited. Like, it's PR after PR after PR after PR. So, this last week, week five is about to be insane. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So, see you guys tomorrow, and let's get stronger tomorrow. <clears throat> We're back with part two of primary days. You know, feeling good. Uh, didn't get any sleep last night, so we're running on fumes. Uh... Was in and out of sleep the whole night, really couldn't sleep. And then Sid had to work early this morning around like five. So she woke up at four. I pray school woke up at four with her. And I've been up since, been programming for clients, uh, doing some stuff around the house. So exhausted, but there's no excuses. I've taken the pre workout and it's time to get the job done. This is a job. Even on the days we're exhausted, we got to come in and get the job done. That's all you can do. Tired. Eyes are barely staying open. It's hot. But we got to get it done. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lock in, make sure we're tapped in on everything, and get the pushing. Got a little bench, deadlift. You know how it goes. But we're going to push it to our limits today and get it done. So, I mean, next week should feel a lot better because hopefully we get some rest next week. If we don't, we just don't get any rest. Actually, I think we're going to be up, like, around, like, 5 o'clock <laughs> next week, too, on this day. So... You know what? Who needs sleep? You can sleep when you're dead. I wish you guys would have just saw what Sid just did. It's freaking funny. But um, feeling the, the tiredness now, you know, from, from not sleeping. But, I mean, hey, like we said, beggars can't be true. We've got to get shit done. So um, I took – so that jump was actually accurate. You know, that jump from – that jump from – uh, three reds to three reds and a green was the actual jump. I didn't take a freaking. I usually go like 175, 185, 195. I went 175, 195, which is crazy. I'm trying to conserve energy. Sid got on me, slapped me on the back of the head, and was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Okay, she didn't slap me on the back of the head, but you get what I mean. Uh, she kept me on my P's and Q's. She was like, "You can't be doing that." I'm trying to give yourselves reasons to be like, "Oh well, this is the reason to move like this because of that." And I'm like, "Yeah, you're right." So we got to stick to doing what we're actually doing. So we're gonna actually take actual warm ups. Don't be like me, guys. Don't change stuff up from week to week. It's just going to make you worse. Stick to the program. Stick to what you've been doing. Stick to the same form you've been using. Unless you like it doesn't work and you have to switch it all together. But, yeah, man. So, that leads into our motivational piece for today. Consistency. You got to be consistent, man. Look, consistency is going to be your best friend when it comes to powerlifting. A lot of people don't tell you this. They just feel like you should, like, just go about things, do whatever way. For people who don't have a coach or don't follow a program, don't go in doing crazy things. Get consistent. Be on a consistent program. Your macro cycle, your micro cycle, everything should be, everything should be the same. Your form every day should be the same. Don't change up grip width. Don't change up foot stands. Don't change up 
uh, where you put your belt at. Make sure you do everything the same. Consistency, consistency, consistency. That's how you're going to get better. Just working on those movements. Uh, not everything is going to feel comfortable right away as you do it. If it does, that's really good. But you have to make yourself comfortable. You have to take yourself outside of the comfort zone so you can get comfortable later on down the road. You can't just be like, oh, well, uh, this feel good and it don't work for you, man. You got to figure out what works for you in the best way. Make it work. Stick to it. And I promise you, you'll finally, finally, finally get what you're looking for. So that being said, don't just be consistent in the don't just be consistent in the gym. Be consistent in your life with everything. That's just going to help you feel better. Consistency. Don't try to do something different every day. That's going to get you anxiety. That's going to get you all this worry. Just make sure you're doing the same things. And then if you need to change something, if you need to, then change it. Not if you want to, if you need to. Need and want to different things. Remember that. Let's get the pull in. All right, Sid's wiping off my butt. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap for this week, man. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I just want some sleep and food, man. To be honest, I don't even want food. I just want to sleep. It's a win, though. It's a win. Came in, got it done. Within, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? We got done in an hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 30 minutes. That's how fast I did that workout. A bench and deadlift within that time. And stretching. With it changing the weight from the platform from bench to deadlift. Look, this is a win this week. The most tired week I've probably ever had. We got through it. It was a great squat day yesterday. Uh, bench was good. Miss Groove did because we took that big jump, but that's fine. Beggars can't be choosers. It's my fault anyway. Uh, and then deadlift, I the weight was easy. The pause was easy. It's just the bar started slipping out of my hands because I didn't apply the right chalk. And that's my fault again. Uh, and if I put baby powder on, it won't get stuck on my legs too, so which, you know, I won't need my grip as much. So next two weeks, you know, we'll tighten up on everything else. But squats moving in the right direction. Benches consistently moving up 195 for my week three is crazy never hit that before so super excited for that and then deadlift we just got to make sure we actually like you know are taking the right like it's like basically squatting with no knee sleeves on or benching without shoes on like I'm just missing things from my deadlift and it's just making it harder but later on down the line we'll we'll tighten up so thank you guys for watching this week 
like I said, sorry for missing last week's video. It's just because I messed up and I did my week two for week one, so I had to redo it. I wasn't going to show you guys the same thing in a row. But two more weeks left of this block, of this super PR block. So stay tuned. Look out for next week's video and especially week five's video. And we're going to go crazy, man. Almost to Sheffield, bro. Two more blocks. Counting this block. Well, after this block, we got two more blocks leading in the Sheffield, man. I'm excited. I'm ready. You should be excited. You should get ready. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you like, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and stay tuned.